Shane Dorian wave. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely cranking. Wow, perfection. Perfecto, perfecto, perfecto. Interesting at the tips of the bar, never a dull moment. Day one at the Cliffs of Moher. Hoping to surf, uh, I was hoping to surf the cliffs three days in a row. And as you can see from this wave that's breaking, just broken the boil, probably about 14 foot, 25 foot faces. Uh, nobody around, but tide's a bit wonky today, but over the next two days, today's Saturday, so it's gonna break on Monday and Tuesday. Tuesday could be the day. But it's just beautiful to be up here. First light, first thing in the morning. And um, don't know if I'm gonna go in. Definitely not going down to our solo. But um, waves are gonna be good for the next few days. It's mid-April. It's the Cliffs of Moher. I'm John McCarthy. I'm your host. Subscribe and like to our channel. And um, oh, just thank God, it's a beautiful day. Mr. Wave over here, no one's ever surfed breaks in front of a cliff not for me so yeah there's some big waves coming in uh, but the problem is they're actually hitting the boil you can actually get a roll in today but the second section at the end of it just shuts down so I'm here with my GoPro let's see if we can get some footage Michael surf crab island and let's check out some sets Oh, Lawrence! Look at Lawrence! Yeah. <laughs> oh, sick. Here we go, on the boil. There we have it. Look at that. Rolling supreme. Oh, that one was sick. Oh, we're going in. We're going in. Just need someone to surf with. Let's see if someone shows up. That's sick. I love that. Barrel. Well, that was day one surf check at the cliffs. Probably some 30 foot faces, some big waves down there. So we called it not to go in. So we're gonna check it. Um, check it Monday, Tuesday, hopefully get a session. And um, yeah, it probably was a good call today. That at the end of those waves, the barrels, they were shutting down. So yeah, a bit wonky today. Hopefully Monday, Tuesday will be better, we'll see. So, I'm happy, made a good call today. Uh, yeah, so, it's good. Here we go. Here we go. Let's some more expedition. Let's see if we get a wave. Six, eight foot. No tide. Let's get away.
Yeah, Marco! Sick out the back! You. Oh, it's going off. Would have been good at the back. to surf, to get down the cliff, to paddle out, just the way. It's just an all-in commitment. Yes, yes. Oh. The moment of decision, will I stay or will I go? at the end. Yeah. This place will humble the bravest. 
the stuff surfers. I, I had access to a perfect 10 to 12 foot wave yesterday. Could have been like one of the best waves of my life. And right in the last millisecond, chicken down. But that's all part of the process here. do make it through the surf then there's a shore break to get through those rocks crunch so it's been an epic three days at the cliffs of Moher uh, it's been so beautiful to see these birds the cliffs the wave the narrow path the paddle it's just you just never get bored of this place every time you come here it's just stunning, like, what a place to surf. It's just so epic, I love it. It's obviously my favorite place in the world to surf while being scared. You know, we come down the narrow path, we walk down here because our aim is to get the ultimate wave. It is the place to get the best wave in the world on a, any particular day. And it reminds me of something Jesus said in the Bible. He said, narrow is the way and few find it, but broad is the way and many go that way that leads to destruction. So Jesus is saying, the way of following God, of having peace with God, of knowing your creator, of going to heaven, it's the narrow path. And, um, but the reason I come down this narrow path is because I want to get the ultimate wave. And the reason that for myself as a Christian, as a follower of God, the reason I, I take the narrow path that Jesus talked about is because you get the forgiveness of everything wrong you've ever done or said or thought and you also get peace with God when you've peace with God on the vertical you get peace with humanity with your with your friends on the horizontal it allows you to forgive people it allows you to love people you get fulfillment you get the blessed life and all of it so that's why I take the narrow path and so the question is how then do you how then do you get that forgiveness? And you know, the Bible says, you look at the top of the, the Cliffs of Moher here, it's the visitor center at the, at the top of the Cliffs of Moher. And these cliffs don't look that big, but they're giant. There's layer after layer and they're 700 foot down. And you know, the Bible says that we've all sinned and, and fallen short of the glory of God. In other words, let's pretend that's God at the top, God's house at the top. And you and me, all of us, we've done, said, thought things that are sinful, that are wrong, that we're, and um, we've all fallen short of the glory of God. We've missed the perfection of God, God's standard. We've missed it because God is perfect. We're not. And then Romans 6 says that tells us that we have a choice to make when it comes to God, when it comes to Jesus Christ, there's a choice to be made. Every single person is going to make the choice whether they do, whether they're active in it or not. But it, the choice is the wages of sin is death or the gift of God is eternal life. So in other words, the wages of sin, one day there's gonna be a punishment, there's gonna be justice for everything we've done, said and thought that's wrong. Before a perfect and just God, he's gonna judge everything. But God doesn't want us to be judged, God wants to, us to be forgiven. So the choice is the wages of sin 
or the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ. God wants to give you a gift of forgiveness, of eternal life, of, of a blessed life, and it's in Jesus. So we need to make that choice. And so the beautiful thing is, it's not about you becoming religious or you becoming perf trying to become perfect. It is about faith. It's about trusting in Him. And that's what the, the verse that sums up the whole Bible, John 3:16. it says that God, He so loved the world. God so loved you and me that He did something. He gave His one and only Son. I have two sons. I have one daughter. I have only one daughter. I wouldn't give my one and only daughter, but God gave His one and only Son. He died on the cross for our sins. And it says, whoever believes in Him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. So simply by putting your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, by acknowledging Him as the Lord of your life and your Savior. And Romans 10 says that. It says, tells us what we need to do. And uh, it tells us that if you believe in your heart in the Lord Jesus, and if you confess with your mouth that God raised Him from the dead, you will be saved and whoever calls upon the name of the Lord will be saved so if you if you believe that Jesus Christ is Lord he believe that he's the Son of God then you need to confess with your mouth that God raised him from the dead so if you believe it confess it tell somebody you're a follower of Jesus now and the Bible says you will be saved and so that is the beautiful thing it is a gift that God gives it's by faith, by trust, by relationship uh, in Jesus Christ and by from, from turning from our sins. And so it's been an epic three days at the Cliffs of Moher. I take the narrow path because it leads to eternal blessing. It leads to blessing here if you get the right wave, if you're courageous enough, if you're, if you're uh, bold enough. But the narrow path of following Jesus leads to life and blessing eternal life. I can't wait to surf in heaven. Maybe wave pools or sea, I don't know. It's going to be the ultimate. And um, so thanks for joining me from the Cliffs of Moher. We'll see you in the next video. And uh, Cliffs of Hope, right here from the Cliffs of Moher. I'm John McCarthy with the message of hope in God. Jesus loves us. He died for us. Believe in your heart and confess with your mouth. Tell somebody that you believe in Jesus and you'll be saved. And the rest flows from there. It's just like when God changes our heart, we flow from there. It looks like reading the Bible. It means going to church, being part of Christian relationship. And you grow it through relationships. Iron sharpens iron. And, um, and so, yeah, what a beautiful place the Cliffs more. What a beautiful message. It's called the gospel of peace, the good news of peace with God. And God wants you to have that. So take care. See you in the next video. God bless. So I wonder, is this the best wave in Europe this morning? It, chances are, it's definitely one of the best, or maybe the best. Here's a solid set now. It's going to break on the boil. Watch this. Someone's going to roll in. Roll in. No, the one that got away. Oh my God. Goodness, that's so clean. Oh my goodness, that was waiting for Tom Lowe. Out the back. Just coming, you can see it coming.
three. This is the leftovers of the swell. Oh man, it looks epic and not too big. Out the back.
Mahan Pukal, Nathaniel. Pukal, ma. Our fod. Well done, Nathaniel. Look at you. You're out of business. No stopping you. Could be a landscaper yet. <laughs>